Kevin, I'll tell you a quick story, bro. You had me pissed off, bro, and I love you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have that effect on a lot of people. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. Yo, bro, I hit you up one day in the DM. I was like, yo, bro, you're killing that rock. Yo, you hit me back, but it was the automated message. <laughs> I, lost my mind. I lost my mind, bro. Yeah, I literally made a post about it. I said one of my favorite creators gave me an automated response, bro. Like, are you kidding me? What was it? Was it a mental health one? Or was it like oh, just like a was, good job like, or something? Yeah, it was like, oh, job. you know what it was? Due, you know to, what it due was? to the traffic in my inbox, like I can't get to you or something. I'm like, no, bro. Uh, okay, yeah. So, I was like, nah, it's love, was it bro. one that I wrote personally? Because there's one that I think I still have up, but it's about my mental health. I'm not taking that down because people just, they'd be like, yo, dude, are you getting back to me? And I just, I, I can't do that. But well, I'm I sorry. <laughs> I'm it, glad was, you're it, was little, it was one of those like, yo, I am so, <laughs> it felt like I'm so up here, sir. And you are just a peasant that's following me. So I will get to you when you get to me. <laughs> like, oh. like, I'm like, damn it, bro. Oh, man. And then I didn't even know you was going to respond. For, for the podcast, bro. So I'm like, man, I just, I, I got to holler at Q, bro. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get in touch with you, bro, but I'm going to keep on trying and trying, bro. And then when you responded back, man, I'm like, I had to double check it. Hold on, you give me with an AI assistant. It's <laughs> fucking tight. But, <laughs> but it was love, man. And I just want to tell you to your face, bro, that, you know, it's a pleasure to meet you, bro. I, I'm glad to have the opportunity to meet you. You inspired myself um, and many others, bro. And, just know, man, it's always love, man. I'm I'm rooting for you. I want to see you do great things, man. I know you are. And is there anything I can do to ever help you, bro? I'm on deck. You're going to have my number. You have in Atlanta. You have in New York. You pull up. It's red carpet, bro. And I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart, bro. So, like, real talk. Thank you, man. Word, bro. I almost moved to Atlanta, and I love New York. So I'll definitely hit you up. But right back at you, man. I think, like, just from, like, a who we are perspective. I think we all need to see more people that look like us doing things that we want to do. You know, that, that goes so much further than most of us realize. And I, I never really paid attention to it until recently, you know, like it's huge. It's huge. And it's very disorienting, not seeing people that look like us. That's it's very, it. very. And yeah, we're going to so. change that. And you're a trailblazer, bro. Um, some people may look at me like that. I don't think I am, but I know I inspire people. You inspire people, and that's how it starts, bro. So, like, like I said, just for you to help me put this on. I just came from a conference. This is how I came, bro. I was like, boop, with the Jordans on. I got more conversation about my Jordans than the actual product. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's what it's about, bro. It's about being ourselves and saying, I could be cool, you know, and I still know my stuff, and I'm still going to be able to hit this quota, and I'm still going to be able to do these things, and I don't have to look like whatever you whatever box you put me in because I'm not that.